Hello and welcome to Rise of Thought to do a little few videos on getting rest started. This is kind of a hard game to stumble into or get into because of its so kind of like free for all arena style game and so some people might be turned off when people when you die. Um, I had a few friends like we were trying to make a base and then they died with a bunch of loot and then they got tired. Um, so yeah, so I thought I'll try my best to make a decent video on trying to enter Daisy. Er, rest. So we got a new day, new server. The first thing you want to do when finding a server, make sure that the server has an active admin. Make sure they have it's populated. Um, you don't want a server with two little people and then those little people just stay on too much to stay on. And then they still have airdrops. I don't actually know if they still have airdrops. Well, is there somebody there? Oh, shit. We're going to die. Uh, airdrops where people can see C4 and all that stuff. So we're on a fresh spawn and a, kind of a fresh day and I would start get going. You first start off with a torch and uh, a rock and that's going to get you enough. They've been, they do wipes because it's a, um, you know, it's a early access and it's something you should have come to realize that your shit will be destroyed. Um, hopefully your recipes that you learn will not be destroyed. And so uh, a bunch of shit I've learned, like locks and... Not locks. Uh, hammers and torches and all sorts of other stuff. Um, spears. Uh, what else? What else? Tools, uh, hatchets. All sorts of cool stuff. So first off, you really want to get some wood going. That's your, like, your primary resource. Pretty much with wood, you can make anything. You just, you know, whack at it. it. Takes a while. Uh, I haven't noticed a difference in the amount of wood you get per, per tree. Um, I don't think they there's some gr sort of growing animation either. I think that's how they spawn. They spawn smaller, big, and a variety of things. And I think depending on the area, you're going to get different trees. Like, if it spawns in the grass, you're more likely to get smaller trees. We got 300, a little bit more. So what I've noticed uh, playing on this server, and, and they've wi I've been through a couple wipes, is that the, the map is now segmented where the north is more... Uh, would be more snowy, while the south is desert, and then the middle is more temperate. If you have a good server, likely they will be able to... Um, to print out maps for it, because every server is going to have a different seed procedurally generated, which at first it might be pretty shitty, um, because it really it's really hard to get a bearing of what where you are. Um, since there's no more landmarks in the old rest, the legacy rest, you can... Uh, oh, there's somebody right there. Let's see if he kills me. Hello? Okay, guess not. Cool. And if you're squeamish about the penis, you can always press F2 and then uh, hit hit the sensor right here. But hey, whatever. Uh, are these mineable rocks? No, they're not. So what right now we're gonna uh, what are we gonna do? Let's actually get a weapon. It's gonna be a 300 of wood, and I guess still start crafting wood. We're also going to need a, uh, uh, let's see here, paper. With paper we can make a building plans, and then we're probably going to need um, a hammer. With the hammer we're out allowed, to, we're going to be able to upgrade our stuff. So when you first build your stuff, you're going to be laying down a foundation, and it's super easy to be, destroy it. But first, the boringness. Uh, of gathering. You always kind of want to, like, you know, watch your back. Try to, like, do a little serpentine. You know, make sure... The fuck? Hmm. Make sure that, you know, you have good vision on everything, you know. I have the short to the back, so I'm more, like, less, more likely they're, they're coming from this direction. 
go. Always get trees. Most people are gonna build out in the open, but we're I, I last time last uh before the server wave I built in a forest and I really not nobody came and bothered me and I feel like building in a forest is a lot better because you are a um you kinda like harder to see. People can pass by and like see a forest, but they're really hard gonna really it's gonna be really hard to spot your base. Yep. You can hold stacks of a thousand, which is real nice. In some servers, you can hold uh, greater stacks. Those are the modded servers. So let's, uh, let's see if we can find some stone. Let's see here. So we're in the more tundra northern area. It's not over there. Let's see if we can um, go into the interior more. There's somebody's base right there. So you can upgrade it to like a sticks and then wood, then um, then metal. And of course, uh, the greater the uh, you know stone's gonna be stronger. But sadly, you can just take out the stable. We we can. That's a. That's time for another one. This this video is more on base building. So we got our paper. Uh, we get some building pans right there. So we have a spear. Are these throwable? Okay, nope. Just good old spear. Oh, okay. So here we have a boar. Um, sadly, I wonder if they changed the AI. Okay. Getting food, you definitely want to just... Just keep on going. Uh, they go really fast. Actually, insanely fast sometimes. As long as you know where they're going, you're going to be good to go. Okay, and one tip to lower down your... increase your frame rate is this precisely virtual texture, textures. Texturing, it um, should increase frame rate if it doesn't crash. Or Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We can always reduce the draw distance. There we go. Motion blur w can get you really sick. It's pretty heavy duty motion blur. Hmm. Sometimes it... Color grading. Let's get rid of that. Okay. I have a low frame rate right now. There he is. We can see somebody building something here, but we're going to get this uh, boar. And you can see right above my, uh, in the bottom right, we got health, water, and food. Uh, still no word on food, or on the, on the hydration, but you get hydration through food. And above that, you saw this building block. Uh, later on, I'll describe that to you. And Jesus Christ, that boar is hauling ass. Just like in DayZ and H1Z1, you can press Alt, but this one is a static back over your look of your right shoulder, which I think is bullshit. Okay, we got that, and we get some of that. We still got some wood here. The hammer is just a tool for upgrading uh, your stuff. Here we go. There we go. Got some animal fat, cloth, great bone fragments, man. Raw both wolf meat. It's a generic thing now. <sighs> so we're heading westward. Wonder if we should head south. Where to put the base? I kind of want to be uh, close to the southern, close to the. Uh, oh, there's another deer. Let's get the deer. Close to the desert where there's going to be a lot more resources. So these guys just haul ass and just fuck physics. Just run right into the rock. Just your best thing to do is just, just go. Just, just, just go. Just follow it. Keep an eye track on it. Don't get sidetracked. Just if your focus is on getting the. F the deer getting food. Just keep on going. It's theoretically like real life. Um, humans are amazing creatures. They will outrun anything, and in a marathon race, will win. Uh, we are designed to be long-distance runners. 
that's how we this is compared to like a tiger uh, an antelope will just run off or a um, impala or a gazelle would just run off and then the tiger would get tired or the cheetah would get tired or some sort of uh, apex predator but the humans would keep on tracking them and the 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 prey would just you know slowly just become a, exhausted because we have sweat we sweat and it's ironic that the uh, term uh, sweat like a pig is pigs don't sweat that's why they're in mud Cool, cool. Okay, what do we got? We got six things. We got some bone fragments and some cloths. Let's make some pants. Um, dip. Actually, no, fuck. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Some. Um, this will go south. Where the fuck am I? Okay. Luckily, my uh, server I go to has a map. Put a new tab. There we go. So where am I? I don't fucking know. There's a, there's a lot of um, roads and all that stuff that can be found. So where is the sun? Okay, so it's coming up. So that's the west. That's the north. This is the south. Let's see here. I just want to finally lay down a nice... We might put something in this forest. Usually there's, uh, in forests you would sometimes find a, uh, thing. A, uh, lock. Or, um, some... Some, um... Not lock, but a... Some ore. Here we have somebody... Hmm. Interesting. So they have a... Uh, a lock door that requires a key, but you you lose it if you die. Uh, sadly, oh wow, these are actually a lot weaker now. The sh these um, these basic ones. You definitely want to upgrade these because I'm, I'm not going to do it. But it's like you could just like stab this down and it just ruin the whole shit out of it. So you don't want to do pit too big unless you know what you're doing. Nice brush, so you can't. You will not see your base from a from a, a distance, but you should be able to know where your base is through memory. Hmm. There is caves. You can always put base in caves, or make your base the cave and just put an entrance. Let's see here. I want to kind of maybe want to be up on a little bit more of a hill. Maybe in here. Yeah, let's do it in here. See, I haven't seen any any buildings here. Yeah. Okay. So once you got your building, you you build your paper, hundred wood, and then from paper you make your um, you're making building plan. And from the first thing you do is you have your foundation here. Let's go up here. Yes, that's good. So just to get a little throw around here, you can just right click, and then you, this is all your stuff you make. You want to make a foundation first because that's your baseline. And I like a um, like a. F a 2x2, two two, if I'm building with friends, a 3x3 three three is really good, because with a 3x3, three three, you can expand higher now. And with a 2x2, two two, you're able to have tons of space for a solo person. Here we go. Again, once the thing is still selected, we're going to right-click, and we're going to put walls up. Um, shit. You know what? Yeah, keep walls up. You can put windows, but sadly, light will just shine through. Uh, once you get the stone, no light passes through, which is real nice. Get a doorway. 
And then we're going to put a door here. You can see in the bottom right it's taking wood. There we go. And how much wood do we have? We don't have much. So just a, like a brief thing here. Like it's a... Bam. So it's really easy to break this shit down. So you definitely want to upgrade a little bit. Um, let's upgrade to wood, stone, metal. Huh, this this is actually new. But that's it for fundamentally building your base. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's put a roof here. Sometimes hackers or people can build above you and then fall in and then kill your shit and just troll you like crazy. There you go, and now we have a uh, simple, simple little base here. Um, you know, it's not the most secure. You definitely don't want to, like, stay the night in here because this door is not locked, but that's, that's, uh, for another video. As always, thanks for watching, and this has been Rust, a tutorial on setting up. See ya.